Hi guys, today I want to talk about the voltage. How high is the voltage you want to go with your e foil system? Okay, uh, this is a lot of details, and uh, stay tuned. Uh, you're gonna learn a lot. <laughs> <coughs> so you know, most e foil board on the market use the 48 volt system, and uh, for my system, my uh, dual motor or single motor. I only use a 24 volt system, so my board, my battery is a six size battery. So why I use a lower voltage system? I mean, the number one, I mean, the biggest reason is the safety. <laughs> you know, oh, higher voltage always dangerous. It's just like your car battery, you know, nobody think about the car battery will be dangerous part. Nobody think about the car battery can be spoiled, you know. You know, some people leave the car battery in the garage and a couple of years just forgotten it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so the lower voltage always safe. That's the number one reason that my system uses a 24 volt system. Uh, but there's a tricky part, you know. I use a very uh, small motor. This is a motor right here, you know, dual motor right here. So this motor actually read for 24 volt, you know. Um, but um, for the brushless motor, I mean, this is a brushless motor. For the brushless motor, you can uh, overread. You can overread the voltage, no problem. So you can double the voltage, no problem. Probably not triple the voltage, you know, <laughs> but definitely double the voltage for the motor itself is it's no problem. But if if your motor, if this motor, this is a single motor right here, so much bigger, right? You can see it's much bigger. Um, but if the motor read for 48 volt and uh, you use only 24 volt, you basically you lower the performance. You know the motor can perform is much better in the higher voltage and you lower the voltage to definitely lower the performance <coughs> so what i'm thinking is i need to increase the voltage for my single motor i mean for my dual motor that, that'll be good i mean because the motor is read for 24 volt no problem at all right but for my single motor the motor itself actually read for 48 volt so I actually want to, you know, increase the wattage for the, my single motor to get the best, best performance. So that's the uh, that's the thing, that's the detail, <laughs> you know. Uh, whenever you want to increase the wattage, well, you you what 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 kind of thing you need to think about, okay? <clears throat> and uh, this is the number one thing you need to think about. So what is this? This is my uh, new design softer starter with a kill switch so what this do it's uh whenever you plug in the battery uh you won't have any uh spark you know soft starter means there's no spark completely uh, eliminates any spark and uh, also a kill switch you have the physical kill switch okay that's a kill switch so for my uh, 24 volt i don't really need this you know even there still have a little spark but it's just very tiny doesn't matter it's just like a you know when you are jump star with a car car battery whenever you jump star you connect the battery you will little spark right so it's it just like that i mean no problem but for, for 48 volt battery i mean if if there's nothing in there, you just plug in, there'll be big spark, really big spark, or even higher voltage, there'll be super big spark, you know, <laughs> that definitely will damage something. So this is a completely eliminated spark, and also have a kill, uh, kill switch. So that's, that's the thing that whenever I want to increase my uh, uh, voltage, so that's the thing you need to consider. Uh, think about it. Uh, most uh, uh, e-foil use a similar 
VEIC. So this is a VEIC. So VEIC basically is open software. There are a lot of uh, options in there. You know, you can, you know, doing many things. So that's why uh, most the eFOIL system, all, all, pretty much all the eFOIL on the market use a VEIC like this. Uh, you can see they actually add this uh, little uh, on-off switch, you know, a little on-off switch. Why they added this little on-off switch? This actually a soft starter, you know. They have little circle here, you know, between the between the battery to the capacitor, because the, all the spark when you connect to the battery. The, the, the suddenly fill up those uh, capacitor that's cause a big current so that's a spark come from so they actually have little uh, circuit to reduce that spark but remember it just reduced <laughs> so this is not completely eliminated any spark so this is a completely eliminated spark this, there's, there's a dedicated circuit board to uh, completely eliminate any spark. So that's a different. So I just want to show you, and uh, whenever the higher voltage, always think about that. So let me uh, show you how this works. I can connect to the battery. So uh, you will show some, the, you know, the voltage of the battery right here. This is a, you can use this as a switch, I mean, before you connect to your uh, motor system, you know, you just uh, take this out, you just like a switch, right? And then you can connect to your motor system and plug it, plug it in. If you are, in this way, there'll be no, no spark at all, okay? There'll be no spark at all. And also, this is like a kill switch, whenever you fall in the water, you can hook up with your hand, uh, ankle, you know, uh, whenever you fall in the water, you, you'll be let go of this. So there will be a completely disconnect between the battery and the, your motor system. I mean, this is a physical kill switch, a hard kill switch. It's not like a, not like a right here. I mean, for my, uh, the wired throttle so this will disconnect that's a kill switch as well but this kill switch is a soft kill switch so basically it means uh, you just lose the signal so the motor it will still connect to your battery okay so that's a soft kill switch and uh, and for this kill switch this is a hard kill switch which means you will completely kill the connection between the motor system and your battery. So, and this is, <coughs> and this circuit board and can support up to uh, 20 twenty uh, uh, um, uh, 72 volt, 20 eyes, 72 volt. Oh, and the top will be 90 volt. Okay, support up to 90 volt and uh, support up to um, 200 amps. So it's big enough for uh, any kind of system you want to build. So this is a must have if you want to build some higher voltage system. And uh, I want to talk about another thing whenever you use a higher voltage. Well, you whenever you want to deal with the water. Because think about, that's a regular battery. That's a regular battery connection, right? Um, pretty much all the battery you buy will be similar some connection like that. In the in the regular use, I mean that's that's good enough, right? But uh, definitely not good enough to use in the water. First of all, it's not waterproof at all, right? But also uh, because it's a very uh, short distance, that makes it very easy to shortage. You know, if you just connect like that in the water, there'll be shortage between right here. Uh, for my system. You can see my connector is separate, positive and negative is separate. So that give you a more distant, the more distant, which means which means more insulation, you know. Um, 
And also, so all my connector is waterproof. You can see here. So this is a O-ring right here, right? There's a little O-ring right here. O-ring right here. So whenever you plug in, it's sealed, sealed inside. So it's waterproof. And also you can see the positive and negative is a different part, you know, which means you cannot really plug in the uh, positive to the negative, uh, negative to the positive. So you never mess up with this because this is a different connector right here. So that's the, that's the way that I built my system. So more secure way to build system. You know, you separate the, the positive and negative. Even with the e-foil board on the market, when you see the battery, it will separate the positive and negative as well with a longer distance to get more insulation, uh, more secure, you know. Um, for 24 volt, even if I put them together, I mean, with this seal, it's still no problem at all. But uh, with higher voltage, that's the thing you need to think about, you know. Uh, separate the positive, negative to get more uh, insulation in between and also uh, get a waterproof connector. So that's my waterproof connector to connect the battery. So once you connect, there will be no, uh, you know, no, no water can get inside, you know. Yeah, that's uh, kind of very important whenever you deal with a higher voltage. So right now I have this uh, soft starter already. So I'm going to increase the voltage for my uh, single motor system to a 48 volt water system. That will be uh, get a much better performance on the single motor system. But actually, I like uh, I like uh, my uh, dual motor system. You know, this dual motor system only weighs for seven pounds, and uh, this single motor system actually weighs for eight pounds. <laughs> you know. So this is actually lighter than this. And also think about uh, my uh, my dual motor system, seven pounds, and battery is uh, 16 pounds, which means uh, total only uh, 23 pounds, 23 pounds, which uh, less than 10 kilogram. So the my system, whole system with battery only, uh, you know, less than 10 grand, 10 kilogram, okay? If you have, uh, you know, your, uh, if you have a wind foil board, you know, carbon board, uh, carbon uh, uh, foil, uh, carbon mass, that, that can be uh, under 30 pounds, probably rough around 30 pounds, okay? And your total weight, 30 pounds, your board system. And with my add-on, 33 pounds. So, which means uh, just a little bit over 50 pounds. 53 pounds, okay? It's just a little bit over 53 pounds. That's very light. Think about it. That's a very light system. Um, Think about you know, original. If you want to play on the water, at least you have the you have, you need at least some like a jet ski or something, right? Otherwise, you won't get any speed at all. So with a fifty pound, that's a whole your uh, e foil system weight. That's that's super easy to carry to any any water you want to go, and super convenient. So that's why I actually more like my uh, dual motor system but uh, i also want to increase the uh, voltage for my single motor system to get a better performance with a single motor as well yeah that's uh, today's topic and uh, i uh, give you very detail whenever you want to use a higher voltage system what to think about not only a uh, connection with on this spark uh, also how to waterproof your connections as well and I uh, hope you uh, got something today okay <laughs> and I uh, will see you uh, next time